Okay, I'm going to make this video as quick as I can. I'm going to keep it under 10 minutes. But um, I've got a better mic now, so this is my second tutorial I've ever done. I actually have used this and it does work. So if people post comments saying it doesn't work, um, it's a load of shit because I have done this billions of times and it does work on my PS3, on my computer. And um and on some DVD players, most of them it doesn't work on. But um anyways, go on to DVD decryptor. Change the mode to I S O mode. I mean change the mode to yeah I I F O mode. What are you doing? Oh <laughs> I was in tools. I'm a tool. IFO mode. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't looking. Um, enable. And um, what you want to do is unclick every single box. Make sure every box is unclicked. Okay, now we, what we're going to be doing first is capturing the video out of the DVD um, so you want to click on the first one um, they just want to click on the DVD don't click on the audio just DVD and uh, go over to the little button over here and click on it alright I've already done that uh, you want to click on it and save it and um, remember where it saved it but anyways I'm going to be catching the, au the audio now so you want the AC36 channel um, yep click on the button again I've already done it um, I've already done it and saved it okay now we're going to be going into Vegas Pro um, now we're going to go over to project video and go into audio change it to 5.1 um, leave everything stock standard but if you want if you want it um, better quality change it to 24 bit best best um, and Dolby Pro Film and hit OK uh, apply then OK and then go into wherever you saved your um, AC, AC3 file I saved it over here in the Fast and the Furious AC3. Okay. Notice that the file type is a VO. Um, that's why we have to convert it into AC3. Right now it says AC3 because it is actually AC3, but it's saved in a different file container. So drag it over into um, Vegas. And um, you should say building packets for about. 10 minutes or so um, just wait for it when it's done to go up into file render as um, and uh, you want to change it to a Dolby Digital Pro AC3 alright so if you don't have this um, Dolby Digital AC3 registered um, just send me an email and I'll send you uh, Dolby Digital AC3 uh, registration key but um, I'm assuming you've already had it registered um, anyways uh, change the sound to um, 20 and uh, leave that the same the same and go into processing and change the bottom one to film standard make sure the top one's film standard too then uh, change it to whatever you want it to save it as. I've already saved it, so I'm going to get out of it. Nope. Right. So now you've done that, go into Venovo. Okay, now click on the plus. Alright, now you're going to go into wherever you saved your video from DVD Decryptor. And you're going to click on it and hit shift and go down to number 4 
then hit open. First things first, go into options, audio options, make sure that process audio is unclicked because we're not going to process audio just as yet. Hit OK, go into video options, normal to pass Kodak. And select the first pass. Um, right, so um, if you're using DivX, I strongly recommend that you use the new DivX codec. But I like using this codec better, the XVID uh, gives you better video quality than using DivX. The new DivX is pretty good. Um, I like this one because it's free. But um, just go into configure and you want this one to be the first pass out of two pass first pass um, advanced options I want it to be the best quality you could possibly have so ultra high but e if you want it to be um, pretty good quality just go high or medium hit ok ok then go into it. Um, the second pass then make sure that's clicked as XVID MPEG4 um, then go into uh, T pass exit hit OK OK go back into here make sure it's the first pass yep and go back into the second one make sure that's the exit pass yep OK now that's all set up perfectly fine um, hit OK shit my computer just froze um... I'll go back into it okay um... then after you've done that just hit start encoding um... okay after you've done that go into where you saved your video I saved it in here um... there it is okay it's uh... 900 meg okay minimize that okay and go find your audio um I put it over here wait no I didn't I actually put it in in that folder too um go into AVI Max open an AVI Max up run it okay now here's the easy part just uh, go get your video and drag it over here into AVI Max and notice how the um, audio it says the file types AC3 now because we converted it make sure you drag that one over <coughs> um, and double click on the video then hit start then save save the file and you're done um, that's basically all. I'll show you a quick sample. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it's pretty good quality. But yeah, I won't play it because um, YouTube will probably ban this video. But um, yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to um send me a private message or just post it in the comments. Um, that's all. Goodbye.